When you collect bottles, it always looks like you're out begging, or like you're poorer than poor. It's hard work, but Herbert couldn't get by without the deposit bottles he collects. He scours Hamburg's Reeperbahn entertainment strip at night. Herbert worked hard all his life, but hasn't enough to live on. Many German retirees take low-paying part-time jobs or, like Herbert, collect bottles. Twenty-five cents. I wouldn't have seen it. I would. You get an eye for them. 2.30 a.m. on Hamburg's Reeperbahn. People are out till the wee hours in the nightlife district. Nothing in there. Herbert's looking for deposit bottles. He can get a few cents back at the store. What'll that one get you? Eight cents. It's not much, but still, it adds up. At first, it was hard to collect bottles other people had used. But I'm all right with it now. I've pretty much got used to it. Now it's no big deal. For other people, it's just trash, right? Yeah, that's right. But 10 bottles is 80 cents. You can get a coffee for that. He's 65 years old, and Herbert isn't his real name. He'd rather we didn't say it. Collecting bottles is no fun for him. It means picking through garbage and poking around corners he'd rather not poke around. But he can make a lot of money when the weather's nice or after festivals. In four days, over 200 euros. Going out every night? You can do it for four days. And before you know it, you've got quite a bit. And you have to transport them somehow. It's a bit easier with a car. Herbert can barely afford it, but he can't do without his old car. He uses it to store the bottles at night when the supermarkets are closed. How much so far? Four euros. Not spectacular. It's limited. Herbert has to watch every cent, but he doesn't fret over it anymore. He does get annoyed when millions are spent on prestige buildings. That's just not right. And for just the little glass with a few holes in the side. Oh well. Hamburg's got the cash. He means the Elbe Philharmonie, Hamburg's new and rather expensive concert hall, now one of the city's prime landmarks and a symbol of German prosperity. Yeah. Oh, oh, two euros twenty. Your money for this month? That's the rest for this month. I get my next payment on Friday and I'll spread it out so I can make ends meet. Nothing in the bank? <laughs> no. Maybe 65 cents left. It's not worth thinking about. But I'll get some more on Friday. And I can get by till Friday. He used to go out to sea on big trips to America, Asia and Australia. He trained as a welder at Hamburg's famous Blom and Foss shipyard. It was a good job, and well paid. As a trainee, you didn't get very much, but you were working and learning, and that was worth something. 
einiges wert. Und wie haben Sie what did you imagine your old age would be like? <laughs> I didn't. I wasn't even thinking about old age at that time. Now Herbert lives in a small flat in Hamburg's Stileshop quarter, a social hotspot. Poverty has become a serious problem for Germany's elderly. About one million more senior citizens are close to poverty now than ten years ago. Herbert has to wait outside. <laughs> Strict rules. A weekly trip to the food bank helps Herbert get by. That's a vegan dish. No vegan. And I've got a nice soup here. No, no thanks. Thank you. Crema? No, no thanks. I don't eat vegan. Vegan is ich nicht. Okay. Thank you. People in need can take as many groceries as they require for just two euros. It's mostly donated by supermarkets. More and more older people are turning up here. Often they're reluctant. They've learned not to sponge off the state. We hear that again and again as the reason older people don't take advantage of the food bank. What was your first visit like? I was quite shy. I was scared, to be honest. Why? I felt like I was begging. But now, I've got used to it. It's about dignity. Yes, you get used to it. Now I've got used to it. Could you give me one of those? And... What is that? Yeah, that's, yeah that's fine. Herbert worked all his life. He has a cheap apartment at the edge of town, but still can't make ends meet on his pension. Come here. Just look. Who's that? He won't do anything. Won't you come out? I know you're lying under the couch. Come on out here. His pension comes to around 900 euros a month. Nearly half of it goes on rent. Do you ever think you won't make it? Sometimes. You can start to despair and think, oh, to hell with it all. But then, I always tell myself, no. There are always those who are worse off than I am. And there really are. Herbert is separated from his wife. His daughter can't help him out. She's struggling with poverty herself. What I'd like to do is travel to Sydney, Australia. I think the city is so fascinating. Just that odd-looking opera house there. It's been there for many, many decades already. That'd be the city and the country I'd like to see one more time. But I couldn't afford that. It's way beyond my financial means in every way. But that's my wish. Herbert was born in this building in central Hamburg. You went in here. This was the entrance. His father died young, but his mother always had enough to get by, even in her later years. Herbert sees the current situation as unfair. What kind of pension can the young people expect who are in their 20s and finishing their studying today? Just think about it. Hardly anything at all. Saturday morning, just before five, Herbert is on the streets. I think it's gorgeous here by the harbour. I really like it. His pension is in his account, but Herbert has to keep collecting bottles. The cost of living in Hamburg, his beloved hometown, is high. Without Hamburg, I could hardly live. I was born here. And then to move elsewhere? No, not a chance. If it's cheaper? Not even then. I need the city. 
Bottle collectors work alone. They rarely encounter one another and rarely as peacefully as on this occasion. This one, this one, this one, this one. South African sailors are still out from the night before. Yeah. Isn't Hamburg beautiful? It's very beautiful, very beautiful, yeah, 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 yeah. I like Hamburg. Hamburg is very beautiful. We've been out for a night, it's really beautiful. And, uh, like, uh... Whoa! Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> Hamburg is War out there? Reeperbahn? Reeperbahn, yeah, 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 Reeperbahn, yeah, 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 we came from Reeperbahn, yeah. <laughs> But when two bottle collectors meet, they often prefer not to exchange words. Does it make kaputt, you tired? Yeah. Yes. It, strengt doch immer schon ganz it does really wear you out. Ja. The dragging and walking. Die Schlepperei und die Lauferei. Oh. But there's another up there. I want to grab it. He's on his feet all night for just a few euros. I'd say I make seven or eight euros at most. And that's how I live. Actually, I get by fairly well. I can't complain. Though collecting bottles is pretty hard work. But we have to do it. I can't change that.